Hi ladies, hope everybody's having a great Tuesday. My name is Nancy Barham and I have been with Limelight since, let's see, I joined at the end of March, which is, I joined right before they shut down the um, process to join Limelight. So I was probably like one of the last few who got in before they froze enrollment. Yeah, lucky me, right? So uh, yeah, I started when there was hardly any product to sell, you know, all that fun stuff. I couldn't have anybody join me, so, but it worked out. So uh, it's great to see everybody. Um, I know I haven't met a lot of you, but I'm looking forward to chatting with you guys today. And uh, what I'm gonna talk about is how to use Instagram for your business. Um, a lot of you may already have Instagram account, and that's great if you do. But the question is, do you have two separate accounts? Hey, Tyra. So here's the deal. Whenever you're on Instagram, Instagram, as you know, is all about pictures. And so you want to make sure that you have two separate accounts. You want to have a personal account and then a business account because you don't ever want to share any personal stuff on your business Instagram. For example, you don't want to post a picture of you and your husband in Cozumel because that has nothing to do with your business and it's not going to bring you any sales. So when it comes to Instagram, um, marketing on Instagram is, it's about your audience and it's nothing about you. So you are going to want to try to bring value for your audience and it's, like I said, has nothing to do with you. So personal Instagram, business Instagram. On your personal, it is okay to every now and again add, you know, some limelight stuff, but make sure it's not salesy. Just, you know, sharing, maybe you wearing it at the park with their kids or, you know, something like that. So there you go. That's your first thing you wanna do with Instagram. And so once you do create, if you don't already have a business account, once you do create it, there's a profile page and on that page, you're gonna to get to um, insert your link. So that's where you're gonna to wanna to put your business link. And most of us probably already have a GoDaddy account to where it transfers. And so you've created your own uh, business name. And so that's where that link is going to go. Um, you also want to write an effective bio. So you want to make sure that it, when people click on your profile, they're going to know exactly who you are, what you do, and what you're all about. So you want to, there's not much. They don't really give you very many words. I'm thinking like 145 letters to put on your profile. So you really want to make sure you uh, make use of all of it. Uh, another little tip is it can get hard when you're typing directly on Instagram to get it all lined up because the spacing is so weird and so you put your stuff in and it's all kind of you know messed up so here's a tip go to your notes on your if you have an iPhone I'm not sure if other phones do but you go to your notes your note app and create your profile there your you know whatever you want to say and then copy that and then you can paste it into your Instagram profile. Then you can, you know, be assured that you're, it's gonna look exactly how you want it to look. So that's just a quick tip on that. And I learned that from my 15 year old. So they're good for something, right? <laughs> All right, so let's see. Secondly, so I am referring to notes. Um, I'm a huge note taker, so I always write everything down. But I'm also going to try to make this pretty sip, you know, pretty quick because I am not one who likes to sit and watch 30 minute videos. So I'm trying to get to the point here. So let's see. Secondly, you want to post um, content, content that's going to attract followers. So you really want to make it where if somebody sees it and they're like, ooh, and they want to click on it and where they want to click on you to come learn more about you. So um, you've, we've all heard a picture is worth a thousand words, right? So you pick a great picture, people are going to be watching you. So uh, we all we're going to be using these pictures to hook your customers. So you want to make sure that your pictures are of high quality. You don't want any blurriness or anything that looks bad. So make sure you're using a high quality picture. Um, Instagram does have filters, so you can use those filters if you need to to help improve the quality of your picture. And then um, you know. Get creative. You don't want to be pushy in your pictures. You don't want to come, aco come across salesy. Remember, we're here to offer value to our customers. So you want to make sure that it's, you know, more like a lifestyle post, something that's going to 
get their attention and that shows them that they're able to use this product easily and it's not where you're saying hey buy this you gotta buy this because it's so great we're not going there right so um, just attention grabbing and try to be unique about it um, some tips it shows that lighter brighter and really high quality pictures are going to get more likes than dark dreary blurry pics so really make sure your um, the pictures you're using are really good pictures uh, here's another thing um, they say that pictures with um, blue color as the dominant color in the picture is going to get way more likes than red weird right and then also a picture with a single dominant color is will get a lot more likes than if there's just too much going on so you really want to stage your picture and uh, make sure you're picking the best one that I don't not only suits your past personality but is going to share about limelight because that's your purpose right hey Monica hey Vicki so third how are you going to grow an audience well the trick is you want to use hashtags hashtags are going to bring people to your Instagram and when you're using a hashtag you don't want to use anything real generic like fashion or makeup because those everybody's hashtagging that and so yours is just going to get lost amongst the hundreds of thousands of people that are also hashtagging that so you want to be real specific with your hashtags um, you want it to you know you want it to be you know something that's you it's part of your personality um, say for example if you relate to like unicorn moms hashtag unicorns and maybe you'll get some of those moms looking at your post or you know just that's an example um, you you can research popular hashtags and trends if you've got teenagers you could probably ask them what's the popular hashtag trending right now or um, you can actually look them up too so uh, let's see another tip you can create your own hashtag yes so using your business name or something that you just love create a hashtag and that way when people click on that hashtag it's going to bring up just all of your stuff so you have your own personal page of your pictures that people can look through pretty quickly so hashtags ladies oh another tip with hashtags when you're writing out your um comment under your picture you don't want to use more than five hashtags because then it just gets too messy and then people are just going to scroll on past so a recommendation is you write your comment you post it and then comment under your own picture with your hashtags then you can hashtag away you know do however many you want because that's not going to pull up right away and so you don't want people going past you because you have just overused the hashtag you don't want to do that all right ladies last but not least how are you going to boost engagement on your Instagram? So um, you want to boost engagement because you want to strengthen customer relations. You want people to come to you, um, follow you, and trust in you that they're going to click on your pictures and that they're going to message you or click on your link that you offer them. So you want, really want to write really captive captions. You're going to want to write something that really you know grabs their attention. You don't just want to be you don't want to be salesy for one don't do that because you're going to turn people off um, even though it's an Instagram business page people don't want to be sold to they don't want to see salesy stuff because have you ever noticed like when you're scrolling through and one of those you know businesses pops up like McDonald's or you know anything like that you're like Ugh, and you just kind of scroll past it like I you know I don't want to watch advertising so basically don't be like an advertisement make it more provide value so that's what we're here to do right so uh, a quick tip is you want to try to provide like maybe include a call to action or ask a question you know um, something that's gonna make them want to stop and read it and then look at your picture and one of the things they say you want to try to do on Instagram is create a loop so what it means by a loop is the follower sees your picture hey Ashley and then they read your caption and then it makes them want to go back and look at your picture so that's what you're aiming for you're aiming for time that they're stopped looking at your picture they're reading your caption and they're actually taking time to look at your picture again which is in turn going to want them to click on your name which is going to take you take them to your profile and then they're going to see your website so 
but it's really tricky. It does take some practice. Hi, Yvonne. I'm still not great at it, but um, every day I'm checking my web, you know, my Instagram, trying to see how I can make it better. So, um, one last thing. Uh, in order to engage with customers, if somebody ever does comment on any of your pictures, you want to make sure that you respond to that comment. Um, not salesy, just, you know, hey, you know, thanks for commenting, or um, if they ask you a question, you know, answer it. And if you feel like the question's going to just, it's going to take way too long, you could say, hey, I'm going to PM you. That way, um, you don't have this drawn on comment this long. But if it's something where you can comment real quick, um, it's better if you do it on your feed. That way, if someone's looking at your picture and then they see that person's question, they can also see your answer. So um, also you want, if you have, if you're getting a lot of followers, you want to go back and try to follow them too. And also like other people's stuff because, you know, Instagram will show you on your notifications who's liking your stuff and also who's following you. So um, it's really good to also like other people's pictures and then also try to follow. Um, when it comes to following, I tend to only try to follow people who I, you know, I'm interested in because you do get some random ones. <laughs> so, um, and you can block people on Instagram too if you feel that necessary. So um, hopefully this helped. I hope I didn't like rush through it and like talk 100 miles per hour because I'm a little bit nervous, so that's probably gonna probably happen. But oh well. But uh, like I said, I wanted to keep it short and sweet. Um, if you have any questions about this, please feel free to comment below. And if you're watching it live, hi. If you're watching replay, please comment that you're watching the replay so we can see who all has gotten to see it. So thank y'all, ladies, for taking your afternoon with me. And I hoped this information helped. And y'all have a great day. Bye. Thanks, Ashley.